Well, after a bit of faffing about with the uh, backlash, things seem to be working a bit better. And this is 0.01 of an inch on a metric scale. But um, now that I've compensated for the, uh, I've still got about a thou of backlash there. Um, but I've compensated for it in uh, EMC within software. So the x-axis looks really pretty repeatable actually, I'm quite pleased with that. So basically what I've done is I've taken off the hand wheel there and I've now changed over onto a doesn't look so pretty but it's a nylon nut uh, I've just machined up a bit of a spacer um, just to just to fill the gap there it's pretty close to what the uh, the official optimum uh, conversion looks like actually they have a spacer push in there uh, as well but where I think the problem lies is all up, up behind that black bush I don't know if you can sort of see it in there but there's a there's a circlip retaining the two uh, deep groove, groove ball uh, bearings I, I might take it apart to show you but uh, just behind that uh, black washer uh, the bearings are retained with a, a circlip and I suspect the the bearings are actually moving slightly in the housing so what I'm going to do is to make a positive clamp um, for the outer, the outer part of the racers. I've also ordered some ang angular contact bearings so I'll put a small spacer in there and apply a bit of a preload to them. Hopefully that'll uh, that'll chase out the last thou of backlash because I've put the dial indicator on the ball screw and there's absolutely no lash in the ball screw at all um, so um, Zap have done a, a, a good job there in preloading things. So uh, the story continues with Backlash for anybody who's following this on uh, CNC Zone.